Okay, welcome back, YouTubers. And then I just use a pair of vice grips. Pop, pop them up. A little time consuming, but you want to get rid of all of them. Put the, either your old piece back on or your new piece. So the next step is we're going to be hacksaw on. I'll show you guys. The next step is, if you can see that, I'm going to hacksaw where they're spot welded. They're spot welded on two sides, front and back. So. I'll just take my hacksaw and cut straight along the edge in between the two pieces on both sides, separate the top from the bottom, and then measure down five and a half inches and mark each one of these six supporting beams, cut them, place the top back on. Hey YouTubers, welcome back. Uh, I have the bed set up like it's positioned in the trailer. So like I said, I want to take it down six inches. So. I'm going to take six inches off these pieces of uh, vertical stock, the six of them. Because you can't measure from here because you've got like three inches. That's actually going to give you a false reading. So if you were to measure from here, you would only cut the stock three inches. And then when you put it back on, you would only have three inches. So you have to cut the stock six inches. So I'm going to measure all of them down six inches, cut the stock here. I know the front piece looks very low where it's going to sit because this rod is going to sit on top of here but you got to remember you have three inches of thickness so it's actually going to bring it back up to here the inside inside dimension inside height so you're still going to have you know six or seven inches in there and then up front you're going to have about eight or nine and a half inches so it's going to be plenty big enough So my hacksaw is just not cutting it, so I'm going to use the, the multi-tool with the metal, uh, I guess a reciprocating kind of uh, little saw with a metal uh, bit on the end of it. And we'll have to go. I'm going to try to keep it a little bit lower because I can clean off the stock with my grinder. So I'd rather not damage the, uh, the main stock and damage this uh, horizontal stock. Pretty loud, so we're here in protection. So this looks like a good view. You guys will be able to see how I'm cutting it. The best way I found was to uh, just use the blade and go straight in. It damages, it uh, keeps the damage to a minimum. Okay, that's it. It's all removed, I believe. Yeah. Let's take a look at the bottom here. See how we did. I mean, not much damage. 
Let's give my little grinding uh, and grind off those edges. Same as there. Not, not too much damage, so should be okay. Yeah, looks pretty good. Okay, next part is going to be to cut the uh, uprights. As earlier, I scribed them all, so let's move this out of the way. So I think I'm going to use the same tool as I used to cut them off. What I'll do is I'll clamp uh, two blocks on either side and then cut them straight off. We'll see if that works. Okay. So what I decided to do is I cut, had some old uh, angled stock of aluminum. So I cut a couple of small pieces and then clamped them around on my scribe line on both sides so that when I cut with my uh, multi-purpose saw, the blade can sit level as I cut through. Hopefully keep that, hopefully that will work. Looks pretty, looks pretty good. I mean, it's not 100%. But you gotta remember the other stock is gonna be sitting like this on it, so any little imperfections can be filled in. That worked well. I'm gonna do the rest of them. That had a little burr on it there. That's it. So, so they're all cut off now. Pop back on just to do a quick measurement. Uh, right now the inside dimension is eight and a half inches inside and then of course you got the lid that's got about another inch and a half underneath here so it's gonna be about nine and a half inches of clearance on the inside part so plenty plenty deep enough so I was doing some research on the uh, the brazing of that aluminum with the uh, anodized rods and apparently it's not that good so what I may do is I may still try that I may still try the brazing, but what I would think I'm going to use are some angle brackets and uh, you know self-tapping screws, angle brackets. I can on the corners. On the corners, I can put two, one on either side, and on these parts, I'll put an angle bracket and then a flat bracket on the inside where you won't see it. flat bracket on the in, on the inside of course but okay I'm back um, so what I decided to do initially is to put some L brackets on the inner corners so I'm gonna clamp them together clamp it together square it off put some L brackets with self tapping screws in there Stable. I think it's more stable than the weld. No, well, maybe not. But it's pretty stable. That's definitely not going anywhere. Else. I'm gonna still see if I can find the uh, the brazing rods for aluminum, and I'll braze it all around it. But for now, that's gonna be able to hold it together. So I'm gonna do the remainder of the sides. I'll show you how the the small end is gonna be done here. It's like so. This end here, I can only put one bracket in it. 
All right, one L bracket, because I can't fit another one in there. So what I'm gonna use is I'm gonna use straight brackets and just bracket this, but on the inside. And that will give it two-way stability as well. So I'm gonna put it right between here out of the way. Same thing, we're gonna clamp it so it doesn't move. Put a couple of screws in there. And stable so that's what I'm gonna do for the remainder of the bed frame so we'll get back on to the video once I'm done all that